This morning's Breakfast Bible Bite reviews the gospel written in the Psalms from Psalm 69, verses 20 through 21. As we will see, as I mentioned in the previous segments, our Lord used David's real-life situation to present a living but prophetic picture of our Christ on the cross, giving believers a rare insight into the unequivocal love of our Creator. Verse 20 of 69 reads, Reproach has broken my heart, and I am so sick. And I looked for sympathy, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. There is no hammer like a false accusation, and our Lord's heart is broken as it is smashed by the hammer of reproach. Perhaps there is no greater feeling of desolation than when we are utterly forsaken by our fellow man, and this followed by a complete lack of sympathy. Just as any natural-born man was st- who is stricken with infirmity seeks emphatic compassion, The humanity of our Lord is on display, but our Savior found none to commiserate with him, apart from his mother and John, who in those dark hours, who were with him in those dark hours as he hung from the cross. Verse 21, they also gave me gall for my food, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Verse 21 reads, they also gave me gall, a poisonous plant, possibly poppy for my food, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. The messianic nature of this psalm, of this passage, cannot be refuted. However, some will dispute the offering of vinegar and gall here as a conf- as conflicting with the prophetic nature of the passage when it is compared to the three Gospels that speak of his crucifixion. To begin with, there is no modern understanding of what is meant or represented by the label gall. We do, not, we, we do know that the Hebrew word is most often translated as poison. If we compare this offering of gall to that which is found in Mark 15, 23, it offers a slightly obscure reference to myrrh. We read in Mark 15, 23, and they gave him to drink wine mingled with myrrh, but he received it not. Myrrh is like the poppy, is a narcotic, and and it was often used by soldiers whose duty it was to drive the nails through the affix to affix the victim onto the cross. Perhaps they did this to ease their consciences, as myrrh is known as a pain reliever. What is interesting is that Jesus refused the pain reliever, for he came to be a suffering servant physically demonstrating God's disgust for sin. However, in all three of the Gospels that record the crucifixion, Matthew 27, 34 through 48, Mark 15, 23 through 36, and John 19 through 19, 29, moments before his death, each recorded that Jesus was offered vinegar on a sponge with no mention of the pain-killing gall.